you love the lights. Trying to get this lighting to be a little bit better. What do you guys think? Is that better? Um, so I really so you guys know I was on an MTV show, right? Oh gosh, should I put some makeup on for you guys? What do you guys think? Put some makeup on. Put it over here. Mm -hmm. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? That's a big one. Okay. Give me one second. Mm. Um. <clears throat> yeah, so you guys know I was in a show, an MTV show, right? Double Shot at Love. So I feel like I don't know if I'm actually allowed to show you guys that, but... Maybe I could tell you guys what's happening <laughs> and my reaction to it. Because in the third episode, I get eliminated. So it's no fun. And I watched it like when it was first released. And then I got super fucked up. And then didn't watch it again. I shouldn't have said that word. And then I didn't bleep. Um, and then I didn't watch it again. And so that was rough. But if you guys want to watch... <sighs> with me i know there's like a twitch party thing on a oh, twitch party a watch party thing on twitch but i feel like it's not on amazon prime because it's on mtv um i have it recorded on my tv but i don't know what do you guys think any thoughts any thoughts about it any comments do you guys think i should do something like that what do you guys think I'm just trying to get beautiful for you guys right now. Am I not pretty enough? I feel like this kind of makes me feel like I'm a pink brick wall or something. Anyway. music i'm actually don't know why i turned it down because i thought you guys would maybe not hear me but i'm like vibing with this um i put that those lights up one in my last stream okay you know what was crazy guys i tried a sleep stream first time tell me like i feel like it wasn't a hit but then i heard like some people do sleep streams and it is a hit so what do you guys think about sleep streams like, I see all those ASMR, sleep, like, what do you guys think? Look, like, what do you guys like watching? I should put some glitter on. You know, actually, you're not supposed to put glitter on in front of the camera. It's gonna probably mess things up. What do you guys think? Um, I think that. Hi, 55 Paul. How are you? I was just saying how I really wanted to do a reaction video to the episode that I was eliminated on MTV. What do you guys think about that? Ah! Hi for Schwit, for our Schwiz, for our Schwiz. 
Uh, I also got my hair done today. Do you love it or do you love it? Tell me the truth. Tell me what you think about it. Hello, hello. Oh my god. I feel like I should have used an actual mirror, but here we are. Here we are. It's so expensive to maintain my hair. I have to go in once a month to get these freaking expensive treatments that are like a couple hundred dollars. Um, I'm also really dehydrated. I'm about to start choking. Hold on. <coughs> I'm like choking on my own spit. I also wanted to tell you <clears throat> guys about this like date I went on and if you think he's like shady business or not. He probably is because they're all shady business. Should I do some workouts while we wait for some more people to join for we do the reaction video? What do you guys think? I do want to do some workouts too, so. <clears throat> so maybe I'll work out for a few minutes and hang out with you guys on the floor. Do you love the bed setup though? I do. Okay. So now you're going to shift with me. <clears throat> oh no, we're, we're away. a good angle whatsoever but we'll make it work you know okay well we'll uh, try to get that on me so okay I'm kind of thinking I need to switch it over to this this tripod, there we go. There's always so many tripod situations for you guys. Okay. Ooh, it's a little um, crooked, but. Okay. Oh, let's make it a little taller. Okay. Yay! I really. Hey, okay. Yay! Okay, 55 Paul was... Yay! Okay, thank you guys for being active. Do you like my hair? I'm gonna bring the yoga mat over here so we can do some workouts. Yay! Okay, my mismatched shorts. Hi, Dove Sack. Oh, it's on emote only. Oh, dang it. You know, someone had told me how to get it off emote only. Hold on. I need to figure this out. Okay, give me a minute. Work with me, guys. Hold on. I got my computer up, so I feel like I can do it. I can do it. Hold on. Thanks for staying with me through um, my technical difficulties. Getting this fixed. Hold on. Okay, so. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, hold on. Working on it, working on it. I forgot that. I don't know how to. I need to, like. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I almost have it. Hi, Jakey boy. Hi. Okay, give me a second. I'm turning the emo only option off. Um, I just have to like get on the chat and do some things. You guys know usually James does it for me, but he's not here. So hold on. Okay. Okay. Can you guys talk now? Yay! You did it! <laughs> oh my god, I was like, why is nobody responding? It's because the emote on, on the. Okay. Okay, I'm really glad I got it to work. Yay. Okay. Yay! Um, so, first questions first. Do you guys like my hair? Do you love it? <laughs> okay. Yay! Thank you. I got it done today. It always takes a few hours to do because I get the keratin treatments. And yay, so I'm so glad you like it. I really, you guys have to like help me figure out if this is cool to do, but. I really wanted to watch the episode that I got eliminated on, on MTV. I know there's like a watch party thing. I don't know how to do that. I don't even think it's on Amazon Prime because it's on MTV, but I have it recorded. So what I wanted to do was like watch it and react to it, but I don't even know if that's interesting to you guys. If you guys even want to see that, or I guess you'd just be watching me because you couldn't even watch the screen, right? Because I don't think I'm allowed to show you. Um, it was Double Shot at Love on MTV, and so on the episode, I dated Vinny Guadagnino from Jersey Shore, and Polly, he was like a host on it, and he's with Nikki. And like, they found love on the last season, so it's like the third season of this bad boy. I mean, it's like whatever you guys want to do. I can do some workouts in the meantime. Um... <clears throat> Really, just this like hair was super expensive. Thank you, J Flo. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. I know. I also tried, um, me and Lauren tried to sleep stream for the first time, and that was wild. Yeah. So, yeah, it's on MTV. I feel like I can't actually show you guys the show on this due to copyright issues. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Um, I don't want to get banned because I love you guys. Um, so I don't know if it's worth it for me to just like react to it and tell you that. I don't know. Yeah, but I do. <laughs> Honestly, Jay Karak, yeah, you're right. It's It was a lot. Um, and it's also like you're not dating them solely because it's like me and 17 other girls. So basically like real life <laughs> and it was like even crazy getting on mtv okay so they kind of gave us um roles i wouldn't say we i mean kind of i don't know i didn't cause drama because that wasn't really 
who I am or like what my role was like I was just like a nice girl I did cry a lot in this episode so that's super embarrassing <laughs> yeah the show is like pretty ratchet I'm actually like pretty sad because my mom's still not talking to me even though I didn't even do anything on the episode but she's just so crazy it just aired um the episodes are still airing so it's i think there's like one one episode left maybe but my episodes aired in september and october so they're out uh they're on mtv and it's on paramount plus too so it's super exciting um i really hope that this lands me other things and that other people like me and like want to do things with me I've always wanted to be famous and that but I never pursued it because everybody in my life um, um when did it air yeah oh um because like my parent like my mom is so against it blah blah I feel like that's made it so hard for me to pursue it so they found me because they like dm'd me and so it was really nice that it happened that way oh dub sack then you can probably watch it yeah if you want to i don't know if i do a reaction you could follow along if you want <laughs> yeah okay so it should just be the episode one two and three of season three i would love it if you guys checked it out for me that'd be so cool and um also follow my instagram and stuff you know because i have some cool stuff on there that i'd love for you guys to and keep track of um oh this car t-boned me earlier this year and since then i've been having hip problems actually i got a call from the doctor today to schedule in another huge injection that i have to get in my hips and, like, mm -mm, there, and i have to call them back <laughs> you've been on three episodes of cops <laughs> Which one? What did you do? And which one? Um, does your mom want you to get a proper job like doctor or something? So here's the thing is I do have a proper job. I do marketing, you know. I mean, c could I have a better paying job? Of course. But I'm just like, the doctor's not for me. You were on lock Stop. You were on locked up. Stop. Okay, yay. Thank you, Dubstack, for following me. I'm super excited. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, so it's been kind of hard. So then I went home for things. So I'm like the emotional dumping on you guys. So I was crazy. So then I went home on Thanksgiving and I was like, you know what? Just like, don't say anything. Just like do whatever you can to keep the peace. And then I go there and she's just like crazy and starts all this drama with me while we're on a family vacation i end up booking the next flight back to california because i was like i can't like i can't live like this you know and so she hasn't talked to me since neither has my dad or my family and so that's like super hurtful so i'm just kind of in a funk but i'm trying to not think about it too much and just like do things that make me happy but then like today was kind of like an off day too because then i had all these like plans and they all fell through and so i mean i, like, I know that's not like that big of a deal but it's just kind of like you know like you when you're looking forward to something and blah blah, blah. but um at least i got my hair done so i feel pretty and like 10 pounds lighter um i wish i was kidding no but you know like you guys know lauren Oh, thank you, 55 Paul. So, like, Lauren was here visiting me, and so that was nice. Like, I have some really good friends, you know, but um, it's hard because it's like during the holidays, and like, of course, like, that's when my family and then I find out from my cousin they're going to visit my cousin in Colorado, but they've never come to visit me in California, and I've lived here for like seven years now. That's a long time. Like, I always have to go see them, but then they're like willing to go see my cousin. It's just like they just like do weird things. It just like really irritates me. And so I've had to just be like, you know, 
be in peace but yeah hi Andy I'm so glad to have you all here I really wanted to stream today to show you guys my hair because I just thought it looked so good yay I feel like it looks really good from the back do a little Pretty shiny. <laughs> um, yay! Um, so Andy, oh, yeah, they've been crazy my whole life. Um, J Flo. Part of the reason I moved, you know, so far away, I was like, mm. I've never been to acting school. I've never I've never actually pursued anything. Like even ending up on this show was just like luck. Like MTV contacted me. So I just got super lucky and but once I got into it, I was like, "Wait, I could this is something I could do." I mean, I don't know what do you guys think? Like I don't know, do you think it's something I could do? I've always wanted, you know, to be in the industry and like um you guys already know I do some influencer stuff on Instagram and um, oh thank you for the lovely hair um yeah so I don't know I think it would have been cool to be like on the bachelor or like one of those type shows because I'm not really like MTV like it wasn't really like my style you know Andy, do whatever you want to do and be yeah, thank you. 55 Paul. It'll help if you get some practice and it would help. I should practice, yeah. J Flo, I say you should model. Oh, you're so sweet. J Crack, I don't know. You seem like a natural in front of the camera. Oh, thank y'all. You guys are so sweet. Um, Andy, I want to be an actor someday. Right? It's so cool. But I feel like this part about the industry, though, is, like, you're either born into it or, like, people sleep their way through it. And I'm not really down for... Well, obviously, I wasn't born into it. I wish you can't choose where you're born into. Right? Like, I'd be, like, Kris Jenner's daughter or something. <laughs> but, um... J. Crack, first time I saw you, I thought you were an actress. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. I think I would love to, you know, be in one. It is a very demanding job, Andy. I think you're right. Like, I think it would be very hard. Um, but I think it'd be fun. Yeah, I love movies too. What kind of movies do you guys like? Or like, who's your favorite? Tell me your favorite actor, actress, movie genre. Like, tell me that stuff. You have a lot. <laughs> uh, you're old school. What does that mean? <laughs> Charles Lawton. I'm so bad with knowing who people are. It's the best. You tell us your faves. Oh! Gosh, Ryan Reynolds. Okay. Ryan Reynolds is so funny, and I really love, like, him- Oh, black and white movies. I really love him and, like, Blake Lively's relationship. I think it's so cute the way they joke together, like, relationship goals, you know? So I think that's cute. Do you guys have dogs? Because, like, sometimes I want a puppy, but then I feel like it's just a lot of responsibility I'm not ready for. <laughs> Um, uh, do you guys, did you guys watch the stream where, like, um, uh, my nephew, the dog, <laughs> Demi's dog Archie was here. He loves my butt and workouts. <laughs> oh my god. I need to, like, I'm gonna, like, stretch a little, uh, talk to you guys, but, um, I'm wearing the most mismatching outfit. Hey. Ryan Gosling, Jake Gyllenhaal, Leonardo DiCaprio, Oscar Isaac, to name a few. Leonardo is such a great actor. I 100% completely agree with that statement because um, 
you know, Titanic, great. Like, everything he does is just great. What a good actor. Yeah, you seen Archie Dupsack. I've heard he's such, like, a man ho though, around L.A. Like, he sleeps with all the models. 55, well, I like Paul Newman. <laughs> oh, how do you get those little emotes? I need one of Archie. <laughs> Andy, oh, Brad Pitt. Now, did you guys like Brad Pitt with Angelina Jolie, or did you like him with Jennifer Aniston better? I love Jennifer Aniston. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, Angelina Jolie's great, too, you know, but... Oh, I really need a call to get that, like, injection in my hair. Oh. Keanu Reeves, do you guys really like The Matrix? Isn't there, like, a new Matrix movie that's coming out? Yeah, Jennifer. Yeah. Do you love it? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I feel like it, it feels so good. I usually get these like once a month, but I got kind of nervous because my hair was shedding a lot like for a couple months. And I was like, oh man, am I like, you know, doing something to it? So I just wanted to like condition it a lot. And then, um, but now I went back and it's super healthy and good to go. So I love it. Super excited for it. Now I just need some place to go. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Andy. I do have a couple of friends' birthday parties coming up this weekend, so that'll be exciting. Um, one of them is having a cocktail party on Friday, and they all do like the Toys for Tots stuff. So I went and bought like a bunch of toys. Denzel Washington is really good for a modern actor. Yeah, he's good. Oh gosh, I like all sorts of movies, but to be honest, I really like comedies, like movies that are really intense. It's like a lot for me to like process. Um, I, I love rom-coms too. I do like action movies. I like Marvel movies. I love Disney movies. Um, I've watched like so many movies on Netflix, you know, like different types, but I really like things that are like comedy and keep it happy and going and things like that. I love that. Um, because I just feel like life is so intense as it is. Like, I don't need to watch intense things. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Yeah. Um, oh, I was going to ask you guys. Are you guys vaccinated? Like, in the cities that you live, do they require you to show your vaccine card in places and pictures? And how strict are they? Because um, I don't live in L.A., but when I do go into L.A., it's so different from um where i live like la is strict they want to see a picture of your vaccine card and i'm like oh okay they don't do that here yeah i got the um yeah i got the second dose for traveling yeah you need a passport to go to the clubs and cinemas yeah uh Dub's like, nope, you haven't gotten it yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, if well, I feel like because LA, like, forced people to, you know, like, a lot of areas, I don't know how much they're forcing people or not forcing people. But it's kind of hard to travel unless you have it. I mean, that's why I had to get it, was just so that I could keep, like, traveling and stuff. I know, Dub Sack. I'm from there too. <laughs> Used to be, I guess. Lived there for a while. I know. I, you know, I wouldn't trust. I don't know. You know, it's so hard. I had to get it, so I got it. Andy, I don't go to the movies in person anymore. Honestly, I haven't been a long time. Cold! Hey, hey, I just wanted to stop by and say hello. I'm busy packing my bag. Uh oh. Um, for tomorrow's Toronto trip, and then I have to sleep early as fuck flight to- ooh, I need to stop 
swearing on this. Anyway, Miss Benicia, you look more amazing than the moon right now. Aw, always love seeing you and I will hopefully be watching you at the next stream. Have a great night. Thank you, Colt, for stopping by. I appreciate it. I got my hair done today, so I hope you guys love it. Um, hi, Young Dark. Um, safe travels, Colt. Yay! Yes, please go follow my socials. Um, I'm going to go do some blooper just for a minute. Ooh. I have to like constantly, I feel like, do stretches and stuff because of that, so. Uh. I do Instagram stuff, but I don't, you know, I wouldn't, I don't know how professional, I don't know, I don't know what level you classify me as. Definitely, you know. <laughs> I'm on some list, but I want to be on the A list. I'm doing some Russian twists. Oh no, I don't use Snapchat. session 420 time I know I really wanted to do a reaction video but I just don't know if I can um or if you guys could even enjoy it if you guys can't see it so I don't know I'm gonna have to like figure that one out see how that goes I really should have um You should be Miss Universe. Aw, oh, thank you, Andy. Dubsack! I don't know what that's saying. Um, okay, we're gonna do some like sit-ups with you guys. Let's do some sit-ups. Hopefully I don't I'm gonna try to see if I bang my head or not. Okay, thank God. Ah! Okay. You guys give me like a high five each time I come up. Thank you. Bam. Thanks, you guys are really helping. Maybe God can post a link to the episode here. Um. Oh. Oh, dang! But I haven't recorded. I guess I don't know. Um. Okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can do that. Double shot. Oh, the episode. Oh, you asked what I was on. The episode where I get eliminated on Double Shot at Love. That towels. Which one? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. It is on Amazon Prime Video, I guess. Oh, it's, I don't, hold on, I'm trying to see where it is. I don't know if it's still on the, if it's, if it's still on the website or, or not. Um. Yeah, I don't know which one's the good one, but it's episode three of season three. Episode three. If anyone finds it, can you send it in the group chat?
how to do a watch how to do a watch party. Um, so I was on this show called Double Shot at Love on MTV and on episode 3 of season 3 I get eliminated. <laughs> oh dang. Hi Rain Tree. <laughs> yeah, I was just telling them how I wanted to do a reaction video to the episode that I get eliminated. But I don't know how you guys... Hi! But I don't know how you guys can watch it. So this is so annoying. So I don't know how that works. Ah! Okay. Oh, so they don't have season three up on there yet. Lame. Lame, lame, lame. I just have it on my TV, so I have like no idea where to even get it online or anything. Killing it. Um, I guess I can always just figure that out and do that next time, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I'm just gonna, like, do some stretches. What do you think? Because, honestly, uh. I don't know why this is, like, weirdly open. Thank you. Oh, okay. I could be breaching my contract, you think? Huh, okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Thank you for 20 times. Yeah, it is season three. Oh, oh. I feel like I know they said I couldn't talk about things that didn't happen on TV. But, I mean, like, we tweet about it, you know? What do you think? Hmm. You're right. I don't want to get in trouble. Ugh. Why are there so many rules? I don't even, you know, know how this works. Uh, I do owe you a signed picture. You're right. I will. I will. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Yeah. I still need to do that. <laughs> Add it to the list of things. Oh gosh. MTV is strict. Oh my goodness. I want to do some um, donkey kicks. Yeah. I didn't know MTV would be so strict. Dang, okay. Okay, I'll check, I'll check. Sometimes my other DMs get lost, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I'll go check. Ooh. Yeah, MTV is crazy strict. Even when I was there, they took my phone away from me. Well, I'm on episode one, two, and three, but I get eliminated on three. <laughs> So, but yeah, they took my phone away from me, so it was crazy. I didn't have any access to the outside world. I know, wild. Uh, 
Uh, no, no one voted. <laughs> Guess it was just my time to go. No, there wasn't a script, but you know, they edit things in certain ways. <laughs> Okay, okay. You're right. <laughs> oh, you know so much more about this. <laughs> show though have you guys ever um in the white dress guess that's enough tea for the day <laughs> but um have you guys done other watch parties on twitch because i would really like to do one in general if there's like a different one maybe we could all watch something together i feel like that would be super cool to like watch a movie or a show or something is there anything you guys are watching i'm looking for something new to watch i really love blacklist Okay, so do you guys know that Amazon bought Twitch? Because because Amazon bought Twitch, now Amazon Music and Amazon Prime Video stuff is now going to be like non-copyrighted in Twitch. Mr. Iglesias on Netflix. You haven't watched any new things at all? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so because of that, because Amazon owns Twitch. Yeah. So if you guys think there's anything that we could watch, that would be cool. I just, we just have to figure out how to do it because I'm not sure how. But I'm sure if we all put our brains together, we could definitely figure this out. And then I do also still want to do, um, I do still want to learn how to game. <laughs> I got the Xbox and everything. And I just don't know how to yet. I'm just not good at it. I, I think I just like don't know which games to start with. I know, Andy. We always need 23 James. <laughs> He's probably sleeping or working. <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh, uh, oh. <clears throat> okay, yay, thanks for checking it out. Uh, what happened? Oh, ooh, where'd the chat go? 
Oh, okay. I wanted to tell you guys about this shady business. So, I went on a date with this guy and I asked him what his job was and he said creative financing. Usually when someone puts creative in front of the word financing, means illegal. <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, what kind of games would you be interested in playing? <laughs> I don't know, anything that's like popular, you know? No, I don't get royalties. I just got paid for being in the episode. This is a dealer, you think he's a drug dealer? <laughs> I, Andy, you're right. I do think it seems sus, stop sack. I do think it's like interesting. So when I tried to like question him more about creative financing. Okay, so I'm an MBA. My degree's in business. Creative goes with marketing, not finance, you know? And then he's like, oh, something with crypto. What does that mean, something with crypto? Whatever. So I'm like, okay, so whatever. He does a shady job. Okay, you know, first red flag. Second red flag, he's like, oh, by the way, my ex-girlfriend still lives at my house, but we, she lit we stay in separate bedrooms i was like oh like you think i was born yesterday so it's like the few red flags right there and so then when i questioned him about it he was like well we broke up six months ago and i was like six months but she's still there though and then he's like, well, I can't like kick somebody out and I've been like supporting her for years so she doesn't have a job or like any of this stuff. How many red flags is that? Oh, and then I found out he's divorced, not from this woman, from like a different woman. No kids though that I know about yet. Yeah. So how many red flags is that? Like, yeah, 15, right? 16. Um, okay, no kids though. Um, <laughs> yeah. And it's already like, I'm just looking for, yeah, that's what I think that he's just looking for a side piece too. Obviously, that's not me. I am not, I'm obviously main chick material. Right, guys? Main chick material. Um, and so I'm like, okay, whatever. And it's already like, what are you doing? Like, he's been begging me for a chance for like a year and a half. And then I give it. And then he comes at me with this, you know, BS. <laughs> Did you check if he has a secret other family? <laughs> Hi, Alabama. Rachel, I be your side piece. I love how you say me. I'm queen with you. I but I am okay. So would I date a guy that has kids? I would date a guy that has kids. I don't think having kids disqualifies, you know, whatever. But okay, did you check if he has a secret other family? Okay, so that's it's funny that you say that because I have a funny story for you. <laughs> um, queen material, thank you. You're a goddess. Thank you, Andy. So I date. Huh? Okay, so there's this guy that I met at a club, and Lauren was with me when I met him, and that's the guy that we say flew us to Hawaii. Took us like literally two hours after meeting me. He was like, "I'm gonna fly you to Hawaii," and Lauren was with me, and I was like, "You have to bring my friend." And so he takes us to Hawaii, and we spend like four nights there. It's it was it's my first time in Hawaii. It's beautiful. I'm having this great time. Anyway, so after that, we've been off and on kind of dating. Very toxic, very dysfunctional for like a few years. And it turns out he had a whole family, like a fiance and two kids. So, yeah. So that does happen. Anthony. Well, again. Keeps happening to me, so yeah. Um, I don't. What What is it when you guys look at me? Does something scream mistress or like that? Like, what do you guys think?
I have a good sense of picking bad <laughs> Oh, what do I time? You're right. Let me tell you though how this one time I tried dating this dentist. He, because I was like, oh, this will be like a normal whatever person. I mean, I was the most bored, disgusted I've ever been in my life. So... I just don't think that's for me either. But I do need someone that's not sus. And you know what? No Forever 515, it's... And I've seen that, like, single guys... I feel like are less bold than these married men. Like, these married men with kids are so bold. They're, like, in your DMs. They're hitting you up. Like, they have zero shame. But like, you know, single guys are more chill, like, you know, but not married men, like, they're like, persistent. Um, so yeah, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It really makes you not trust, like, the system. It's like, oh, cool, so if, if and when I get married, is my husband gonna constantly be, like, in all these girls' messages? That's embarrassing. No forever. Yeah, they do tell you exactly what you want to hear. I'm so honest. I can't lie to people. Like, the truth just comes out. Like, I'm incapable. Um, uh, like, mm hmm. You're right, Rain Tree. Ugh. Men. Thanks, Ian. I know. And it was so funny. It's not funny, but, um, part of the reason. I don't know how I end up in it. It's like they start off, like, really good, and then they end. Yeah, I, take your time. You'll get, I know. You're right. Slither gone. No fun. My Apple remote is too slow. Don't condemn all men for the actions of you. No, I don't condemn all men. I don't. I don't. Um, <laughs> where exactly do you go looking for these guys? <laughs> Just around town. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's how they are here. It's not like everywhere, but just like the town I live in especially. It's, it's full of kind of younger rich single entitled like not single actually married like entitled just people in general yeah it's bad i've been single for a year now out of a 16 year relationship and even the woman i met are married and just looking to get a piece no women are like that too i'm not even trying to say it's just like a gender specific thing i see women cheat all the time too this is not just like a mm, guys you know like whatever no and i don't think you're all the same at all yeah. I don't live in Pomona. <laughs> but <laughs> I went on one date with the guy from Pomona and I told you guys about this story and that was when the girl barked at me at a bar and then like the security of the bar had to escort her out, like drag her out of there. It was so embarrassing. Okay, so I sent her back in. <laughs> I avoid them like the plague. Um, I'm not on dating apps because I cannot like have mindless conversations about nothing. The boring dentist would be the type to not have a side piece because he can't get a side piece. Let me tell you that. The guy that's more fun would be, and you're right. I know you're right, but uh, that was so boring. Even thinking about him makes me want to barf. Um, you had some bad times with them. Yeah, it's greasy. Dating apps do be boring. You're so, you guys are so right. What, what do the girls look like from your end? Like when you open a dating app, like are all the girls pretty? Are they girls you'd be interested in? Like what kind of people pop up? Or is it like for me when I open the app, like maybe the first like two or three guys, I'm like, ah. And then after that, I'm like, uh, 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 uh. But we are on lockdown still for the most part here. Oh, where are you, No Forever? 
Andy, they are pretty. Well, some of them. <laughs> yeah. Just like, where is everybody? Like, where's my soulmate? They feel materialistic for the most part. 80% of talking is body language, so you're me. Yes, I completely agree. It's all vibes. That's why I don't like dating apps, because I want to get to meet somebody in real life. Dub sad. Get you ugly guy. I promise we won't cheat. All y'all cheat. The broke ones, the ugly ones. It don't matter. <laughs> no forever. Can oh, Canada. Eee, Canada. I had to allow that. <laughs> That's funny. It's an outbreak. You can, oh, I'm so sorry. This pandemic's like never gonna end, is it? It's just like it's so long. It's just been going on. <laughs> Need some more Russian twists. <laughs> what? I need some more workouts, honestly. See, there you condemning all that. <laughs> okay, what if I condemn a woman too? Because I don't like women either. I can just condemn all people. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> okay, I need to put on one of my church dresses. Head to the local house of the Lord <laughs> and find your cat. Okay, listen, I was a Sunday school teacher for four years and I still didn't find a man I liked so yeah lots of them are nasty <laughs> look like David Rodard and put away soaking wet <laughs> there's a few good looking ones but all of oh that's so sad Andy like I said I fall in love easily with a lot of women <laughs> the dumb sex of song Okay, Jayfell. Well, what's your type? I can't use voice on Apple Remote. I'm going to use Fire. Okay. Um, so, I feel like I don't need a type because clearly it hasn't been working. So, I am currently accepting applications for a type to be into. Okay, so how do you feel about getting approached by men at the store or gym? Do you find it sexy or creepy? Okay, so it depends on how you do it. So for example, like I've had people um, that are at the store and if you're just like, oh, you're so pretty, nice, and, da -da, and you're just like nice about it, I appreciate it. I don't care who you are. But I think what I don't like is only if someone's like aggressive or if they try to like physically do something. I'm not about that. But for me, I actually find it complimentary if someone's nice to me. And I think it just depends on the approach. I mean, for some people, it depends on how attracted they are to people. I really don't consider myself like, um, uh, what was it? Oh, a shallow person at all. Pretty much everyone I've dated has always had a few extra pounds and not in a bad way like I really don't care you know okay but clearly there are things that took the boxes for you to talk to them <clears throat> um yeah like I would say thank you and stuff and just like move past it if I wasn't interested obviously if that person sparked my interest I'd like converse further you know naturally uh so they're gone don't dating apps just send out like weird pictures and stuff i don't i don't know i really don't use them no forever yeah it's when you feel that vibe spark connection and all that yes because you know what sucks it's like because you could have like even a texting relationship and then you meet up with someone and you're like mm. but for me it's the opposite i actually feel like i'm not a good texter but i'm a lot better in person when texting i'm kind of mm, i don't know Things just like fall apart. Do I hate being a cat? I don't know what that means. 
Oh my gosh, I didn't even read what Enzo said, but that's creepy. Oh, I'm scared to know. <laughs> um, dub sack. So, honestly, I just go by vibes and stuff, but, you know, it's like you never know who you're going to connect with, but I would never, definitely not hold or, like, not be with someone because of a few pounds. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah, there's a lot of fake accounts on dating apps. <laughs> right, Tree? It was creepy enough for me to delete that. Fair enough. And this is why we got mods that I love. Thank you. Yes, no forever. Yeah, it doesn't come out right for me because I feel like I can't properly um, express my feeling in text like I come off very cold and uninterested in text because like girls use a lot of emojis and exclamation points and that kind of stuff and I don't do that so I feel like that's why um, it comes off that way when I'm not you know so but I also like it weird in phone calls too I actually like FaceTime because I can see the person and I don't feel the need to be like talking the whole time because then you can they just like can kind of see what you're doing too um a dub sack it's hard to find girls like you anymore oh <laughs> so they're gone I don't know it sounds like the obsessed phenomenon you know the more you talk about stuff the more obsessed about it you revolve around it it's just like it evaporates yeah I see what you're saying yeah, me too. It's like I have no feelings. Like, yeah, it's just like, it just comes off very cold. And people even say that. Like, they're like, oh, you're... And I'm like, I didn't mean to be. So I have to, like, actively be like, oh, put some heart emojis. Put some... But it's, like, not natural <laughs> to do that. Uh, also, just, like, not a very feelingsy person. I don't know. For 20 times. Some girls are clueless. You have to be direct to get your point across. If you're indirect, you might lose your chance to start... Yeah, I think being direct is the best option, like, because I need, I need people to be direct with me, so I get that. No forever, I'm goofy and make people laugh and make fun. Yeah, exactly, same, and then sometimes I'm sarcastic and then it just, like, comes off like I'm being mean, and then I'm, like, eh, I accidentally bullied you because you didn't get that it was a joke. Mobby! Your facial expressions are very expressive. You definitely want someone looking. I know. I talk a lot with my face. Um, it's funny because I can hold my tongue, but my face will say it all. I was at this like charity event, Babes in Toyland, and this girl, she had screwed over our mutual friend by going out with the guy that she was talking to, and it was like a whole messed up situation. And she shows up, and I'm trying to hold my tongue because she's like, just be nice to her. But my face says it all i'm just like like rolling my eyes like into the back of my head a million times a day <laughs> um so they're gone i've been watching a lot of sports on tv monday night thursday night sunday night football okay and some stadiums are empty and some stadiums are packed so like some basketball games are totally busy with fans and like this champions league match in europe was like totally empty today huh and that and you're right that's so crazy and I guess it also depends on where it is, what the rules are of that place. You just like never know. Go Cowboys. <laughs> Yeah, there's like so many lockdowns I've been hearing about again. Oh, dang.